interest. Although I did go on a date the other night. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> no one's interesting enough. I need to be constantly stimulated. I know, right? <laughs> dollars somewhere <laughs> all right guys i don't damn it i said guys are you, not, are you supposed to say folks i have a problem <laughs> apparently it's saying hey guys at the beginning and it is a kind of a problem but He's what up everybody we're at nashville unsigned welcome back we're sitting here with lauren riley the beautiful lauren riley i'm from arizona a little small like quirky town um real western like old western town called cave creek and okay. I came here for music. Like, so did, was it anything specific that brought you to Nashville? Like, was it a specific um, uh, artist management group that you're, that you're targeting or a publishing company you're targeting? Yeah, you know, um, my ex um, plays um, guitar for Lyle Lovett and honestly, and so he brought me here. I was thinking LA or uh -huh. here and I just honestly, I really fell in love with the green trees and mm -hmm. the environment, just the people, the the feel. I've been to LA a few times and I just, I felt really at home here yeah. in Music City. What is some exclusive stuff you can tell us that nobody knows about your music? Right um, now? Well, I am releasing my music video soon. Um, my single and music video um, will be coming out later this month. Yeah. So I'm really excited. Either this month or next, we're figuring out everything. You are working with a mutual friend of ours on that, right? Yes, Hope Tree Entertainment. Mr. Mr. Patrick, Patrick Blarney. <laughs> <laughs> Most of our artists um, came from the Hope Tree family. It's so, so awesome. Let me lead me on, make me believe I'm wrong. You've known how to make me want it all along. Tell me something really weird or random that nobody knows about you that you're only going to tell us. Oh, and shoot. it goes back up and locked up in the vault. So I actually um, got my degree in opera and music theater. So I sing opera. Really? I'm not gonna sample it now. It's been a while, but I, yeah, I was a lead in an opera, and when I was auditioning for colleges, they really were wanting me to do opera. So I'm trained. I'm very classically trained. So I did nice. all that. I was gonna go to um, New York or Chicago first to do music. Yeah. And so I started commercial music a little later, but having all that experience has been awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then yeah. you kind of compile all those experiences into like yeah. who you are as an artist. Yeah. Well, you're in great hands with the crew that you've got yeah. and with awesome. Hope Tree and, and the family of uh, artists coming out of that. I mean, just left and right. I know. So the common question we ask all artists is the wild segment. Insert logo here. <laughs> so what have you learned to do? What, what is some really good, valuable information you can pass along? Um, well, I would say um, the biggest thing I've learned here is that it's really important to keep your circle tight. And I'm sure, you, you know, you'll hear that a lot. And I think the reason is... Um, Music is art and it's subjective and I think sometimes we just get carried away with the formula and what's gonna work for the format and trying to kind of appease like different people and it just gets to be a little overwhelming when you have too many like cooks in the kitchen. And um, I think the biggest thing that I've learned is anything that's gonna be worth listening to um, needs to come from the heart. And I think that people can subconsciously kind of I don't know, I feel like they're more drawn to an artist when they're doing authentically what they feel their soul and their heart so like wants you can them sense to. The realness. Yeah. And transparency. And just and just doing like what you love because I think right now with the way that the music business is, there's just not as much money being made. I think there's a lot of fear based mentality and I think that can kind of crush the originality a little bit and just make it kinda of more like you know, commercial, safe or commercial yeah. or doing this and like you have to do this and with everything the way it is now and genres like mixing, I just think it's important to follow what you do, your heart and what makes you unique. And that's <laughs> what like even in the entrepreneurial world, if the grind is very similar to the artist grind and that's like you have right. a lot of people putting their opinions, opinions and, mm -hmm. and, and you have experience. to know what to take and what to leave. Yeah, and they see the, you know, your experience through their lens uh -huh. and it's like okay how can I really take this with a grain of salt and uh -huh. apply it to who I am because my experience is different than yours yep. it's yep. different than theirs and it's different than my 
friend Emily back there. Mm -hmm. her experience. <laughs> we love you, Emily. We love you. <laughs> we love her. Check out. We're gonna have links to her socials, um, website, and kind of keep up with everything Lauren Riley that's coming up very soon. She's got a lot of really cool stuff going on. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Once again, Miss Lauren Riley. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. Double high five. Girl. <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll catch you guys again soon.